Hi guy here. I'm going to show you how to install some software to mine the uh, BCN coin on your uh, Pi. Now I'm using an Atomic Pi, which is a little bit faster than the uh, Raspberry Pi. So you might be better off to use something like that, but you might be all right using a Raspberry Pi 4. So first thing you want to do we need to do an update now the thing is we need to we're going to use this pool here and I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this but we're going to be using this pool here and if we go under getting started as you can see move this server we're going to use the low-end hardware port 3333 so if we scroll down to under the XM rig and do show more see more we're going to use this address to uh, mine on the uh, atomic pi so <clears throat> now that that's done Let's get back to our website here for the commands. So we need to install some de dependencies so we can make this uh, get everything installed. So while that's doing that, we can go ahead and copy the command so we can clone the uh, directory now I'm just running uh, what is this the neon software on my atomic pie at the moment 64 bit <clears throat> so all right so that's about done so we're going to go ahead and clone the directory here and we can cd into it then we need to make a directory called build and we're going to cd into that guy if we could type then we are going to see make And if we're not missing any dependencies, we should be okay, but we'll see here. So we'll just let that go. Then we can do a make. <clears throat> You'll definitely probably need a Raspberry Pi 4 at the least to mine this coin. Uh, obviously, don't expect to get rich off of it, but uh, if you just want to do something for fun and learn before you really get into mining, this might be a good little start to uh, learn some more code and learn how more how it un how things work and. Uh, and all that so we'll let this uh, make and uh, I'll be back uh, we have that built everything went all right so what we can do is now we can go ahead and run the command to start uh, mining so Let me go back up here. Now we have here the address, the port. Now right here, you'll want to remove the wallet address and put in your wallet, at your real wallet address. And you can make a username, a worker name, whatever you like to call it. And the number of threads. Now, <clears throat> 
depending on the pie that you might be using, you might have to start with four, go to two or three or even one. It all depends. That's something you might have to uh, play around with a little bit. So put your wallet address here, worker name, whatever you feel like calling. And uh, let me pull this back up here. Because if you go over here, worker status, as you can see, I had it here and it was mining and stuff. Now you'll put your address up here that you have so you can uh, pull up your worker stats to see how everything's going. So, then you can just keep this up or whatever to check out what you're doing. And if you go under settings, you can uh, set up your payment and uh, stuff like that, your threshold. So, but uh, now I'm just using a address for my exchange. So, once I would hit the uh, the threshold, it automatically deposit the uh, currency into my exchange account that uh, BCN uh, supports. So uh, that's how that can work. Or you can uh, use one of their wallets or whatnot. But uh, <clears throat> but that's pretty much it. So let me. Uh, go ahead and run a command here and I'll be all right so now we have it running here <clears throat> so uh, if we give it time you should start seeing uh, some accept lines here and like I said you may have to play with the threads we got four threads running, as you can see up here at the end of the command. Now you might have to change that to two or three. It all depends on what uh, Pi or computer or whatnot you may be running. So, uh, and if you need to cancel this, you could just do a Control C, and uh, that's it. If we go back to that, we're online right now. Here's our hash rate, which is low. It'll go up a little bit since it just started out. So, so hopefully that kind of helps out. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one. I'll throw a link in the description to my website for uh, more information in the URLs to the website and so on so all right